In this video, we're going to look at how to adjust and change the animations within any of the templates. If you need to adjust any of the timings within the slides, for example, if you've played the slideshow through and you want to give the viewer more time to read the text before the next set of text comes in, this video is going to show you how. So with the slide you're working on highlighted, make sure you're on the Animations tab and that you have the animation pane toggled on. And that way you can see exactly what the animations are within that particular slide. So let's say in slide four, you want to leave a longer gap after the service one text comes in before the service two text comes in. So click on service one to highlight it. And you can see at the same time in the animation pane, that animation is also highlighted. So you can see that the next element that comes in after service one text is line seven. After that, you get the service two text itself. So to adjust the timing, you click on the line seven in the animation pane, click on the drop down arrow, then click on timing. A pop-up box has appeared with some tabs on it. Effect, timing, text animation. Make sure you're on the timing tab and you can see that the line comes in after the previous element with a slight delay of 0.25 seconds and the duration of the animation is only 0.08 seconds. So all you need to do is simply adjust the delay and or the duration according to what you feel is right for your particular presentation. I'm going to get this to come in with a one second delay instead of a quarter of a second delay. Once I'm happy, I click OK. Now you can preview the animations if you want to all the way through by clicking on the preview button here or you can click on play from a particular point within the animation pane itself so you don't have to run through all of the animations to get to the one that you've actually changed. Now if you want to change the animation completely with the element highlighted within the animation pane we'll stick with line 7 you can see what the animation is to start with. You can look up here, you can see that it flies in. The effect options arrow is pointing down, so we know that it flies in from the top. But to change it, you can just choose one of these animations that are showing in this pane. So you could get it to float in if you wanted to. Now, if the animation that you want isn't here, you click on this drop down arrow and you get more choice. You get even more choice if you hover down here and click on one of these. You get the little pop-up box and you get all the animations that are available to that particular element within the slide. These are only the entrance effects ones and you can preview the element here. It plays it through very briefly and then it goes back to the beginning. So you can also change the duration and the delay of the animations from within the animations pane as I showed you by clicking on these drop down box arrows or you can you can change it from within this top menu here so if you've got the animations pane toggled off you can still make some basic changes from from within this menu and that's how you adjust the timing or change any of the animations within the templates